the main impact that you've got from making boards to, from, from fiberglass is that what you'll have is you have to think of a way at the end of its life you're going to dispose of it. Now most surfers will hopefully sort of keep a board for a couple of years. If you're a top pro you could be getting through one every two weeks. Think one every two weeks you're going to be disposing of this. If you throw it in the rubbish tip or into landfill it's still going to be there in hundreds of years. About there tonight's pink is there isn't it? Yeah. It's wood, it's got hemp, and it's got a plant-based resin. So at the end of its life, rather than a traditional surfboard, which you then have to think of a way to dispose of, you could just chop this all up and use it as garden mulch or stick it in your composter. Well, the main part of the board is balsa, similar to what we've got growing behind us here. And that's then put into planks, four inch planks, six or seven of those. Then it will be shaped into a blank and then put down into actually a fine shape to suit the individual surfer. After that, we layer a, a hemp cloth over it. And then the final touch is to put a plant resin over there to seal it so it's usable in the water. A surfboard is about as environmentally unfriendly as you can get it, the way it's put together uh, normally. Uh, our eco surfboard is a beautiful piece of, um, if you like, uh, natural engineering. I understand it's not as fast as a competition board, so it needs to have a bit of work done on it to get it a bit sharper in the water. Um, but ultimately, I think it's more symbolic than anything else, it, 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 because most people who are surfers are actually into the environment, and I think most of them feel residual guilt that the machine which gives them their buzz um, is, is so environmentally unfriendly. Um, we can't see a reason why everybody can't be making boards that are totally sustainable um, and that can reach throughout the world. We could, we could pick light woods that go to the local markets and therefore that could almost be grown quite close to where they're being surfed.